UFC Heavyweight Division Collision. So another big spot for this high-level wrestler here tonight, and the opposition knows what's coming, but more often than not in the UFC, they've been unable to stop. It's because since a little boy, he spent his life on the wrestling mats. And even though you start to prepare for it late, you cannot match his ability to train, his ability to focus. The idea that once he gets a hold of you, it only ends with him in top position. It does not matter if he has to get a high crotch. It does not matter if he needs to get a single leg or a double leg. The purpose is to get you to the floor, and he has been trained his entire life to do just that. Yeah, you put it well. He's got a lot of throws and takedowns and trips in his arsenal, and he'll try to put them to good use in this matchup here tonight. Get this experience making the walk to that famed UFC octagon for the first time, but the question beckons. Will there be nerves? Will there be jitters under the bright lights of the UFC octagon for the first time? He doesn't look wide-eyed necessarily here, but you have to be mindful of a possible adrenaline dump that could really affect your cardio if you're not ready for it. for this heavyweight fight. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. All right, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 15 wins, six losses. He stands five feet, 10 inches tall, weighing in at 237 pounds. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, Boom Boom. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, making his UFC debut here tonight. He stands six feet, four inches tall, weighing in at 225 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Levine. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. You ready? You ready? All right, so here we go, round one. This is his UFC debut, so finally getting to the big show. He's strung together a long winning streak on the regional circuit. A lot of people thought maybe this UFC debut would have come last year. Let bygones be bygones. Here it is. We'll see what he can do with it. And you learn a lot about these prospects when they're put in positions that they're not normally put in uh, inside of the octagon. You can do them in practice, but there's a big difference when you experience it inside the UFC. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. And there comes the separation now. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. He's already landed several in this round, and the damage is really starting to take its toll. Yeah, it's really starting to take its toll. And you watch the opponent walking gingerly on his leg, and one big tell that you're starting to really do well with your leg kicks is when your opponent starts to switch stances. Right. Watch for a stance switch very soon. Really timing his shots nicely, good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Johnny Bones Jones. over two minutes to go in what has been a furious round one. Left hand punch on the clinch. And 
now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. in a world of trouble now. They say the straight suits are the ones that get there first, and it got right to the target. Well, there's a takedown attempt. No surprise that he would go for it there, but unable to get the fight to the ground. Whenever your opponent knows that you're going to try to take it down, you have to disguise it. Oh, my Lord. Oh, big head kick there. Jones gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Oh, an obvious limp there. His leg hurting for certain. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying. And potentially a critical takedown here. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands. His opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what you, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. in strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he, he extends his combination, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Made good use of his size there as he lands the flush knee. Oh man, look at that. Picture perfect. Got to the leg, got to his position, got another beautiful takedown. Massive knee to the body land. Good volume of knees here by Jones. Man, doesn't take a lot of these kicks to produce redness. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. Well, if you like Muay Thai striking, this might be double leg takedown attempt here. And that one is true. Nice job there to enter and ultimately plant his opponent on the mat. Now what does he do? That he's got his best shot off, finish the attack. Where does he go now from the top position? Straight right, he misses. Back to his feet. Good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he lands. Great job. Can't take many of those. You better check. Oh! Oh! He landed it perfectly. Perfect placement. Perfect position. What a huge blow in a big moment in this fight. Look at the force. That leg kick. Back to the feet. Oh, he lands a huge right hand. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Now the guy's got on bar. He's attacking it on him. Oh, and there's 
There's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round, saved by the bell. So back to the stool, mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went head hunting, landed, nearly got the finish too. A lot of coaches tell you don't head hunt. In this case, he's been head hunting and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. Final round here. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Oh, really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. Nice connection with the punch there. It's hard to recall time in the past that his boxing looked at. Right up the gut. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he doesn't know where he is. He's hurt real bad. That punch lands in the perfect spot. Well, late in the fight, and clearly it's been a dominant performance for him. And oh! Ooh, diving punch lands. He Modern needs fighter to better move. Yeah, he's got to move, John. He's got to shrimp and try to either get up or pull his opponent back into him so he doesn't have the posture to land that big damage. All right, well, he's got him softened up here. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. So under three minutes to go here in the fight. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Well, he gets up again here, but, but he looks hurt. He looks hurt. Oh, man. It's not every day in the UFC that you see a fight ended due to a leg kick, but that one was absolutely devastating. He took away that lead leg of his opponent, who became a one-legged fighter, and then it became just a matter of time. So somewhat anticlimactic here tonight, but not for the winner, as he gets one of the bigger TKO wins of his UFC career. So a big win for him here tonight and an even bigger statement made by virtue of the TKO. Now we go inside the octagon, Bruce Buffer with the official Eve decision. King has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 38 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by TKO, John Bones Jones! Well, there he is, the man of the hour. And you gotta think this dude's gonna get a serious Instagram.